right? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Hi, I'm Karina Hinckley, and I'm a ninth grader at Lincoln High. And this is if the U.S. failed America. Patriotism is splashed across my chest, familiar despite its unfamiliarity. I'm used to it now. I have to be. For the flag lays over my heart, bleeding loyalty into my veins and firing it through my systems like the bullets that tore my friends into confetti and dust, sending them into lonely graves surrounded by other lonely graves. I am strong now. No longer am I small and overlooked, too weak to be loyal, and this loyalty is my burden. My consensual prison with bars of red, white, and blue, and orders are like gunshots, forcing action out of those who can handle the action, and I follow orders because I am strong now. Occasionally, however, I lapse into ice and grief, a landscape filled with broken bodies and broken memories, broken only because I broke them. My shield, indestructible in every literal sense of the term, meant to protect and to serve only about half the time. The other half is spent wallowing in secretive sludge that drowns the opposition in the blood of their brothers and their sisters at the cost of mine. But I follow orders because I am strong now. Experimentation, merely free to dream from the flimsy bones, pale skin, asthmatic lungs that trapped a burning passion for loyalty and action for patriotism. Because patriotism is striking the man with a different home to protect your own. Because patriotism is fighting for what's right. Patriotism is protecting people. Patriotism is saving people. Patriotism is finishing the mission. Patriotism is sticking with your cause, though the end may not justify the means. And I struck the man whose home was not my own, and I fight for what's right and I protect people and I save people and God, I tried to finish the mission. But the stripes can lie just as well as the people who place their hands over the hearts that breathe corruption. And the stars are symbols. And symbols can be tainted just as well as cloth can be smeared by dirt and blood. But I can't denounce the stars and stripes because they're branded into my soul, bleeding on my chest. I have done too much to abandon them now. They are a part of me. They created me. They are me, and I am them. My consensual prison with stains of red, white, and blue, and with every blow I see stars. My name is no longer Steve Rogers. I am Captain America. And I will fight, because I'm with you to the end of the line.